Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here, and what I have with me today are two different PA systems, and both of these PA systems can run on batteries. Let me go over these. This is the Roland KC110, and this is the new Mackie Freeplay. Like I said, both can run on batteries. The difference between the batteries is this can run on eight AA batteries. This runs on eight D cell batteries. Now, here is the deal. When you plug both of these into your AC outlet, they both come with the AC adapters, that's when you have full power. This one will give you 30 watts, and this one will give you what they claim to be 300 watts. That's peak power. In reality, it's 150 watts, and that 150 watts breaks down into something like 75 watts for the woofer and another 75 for the one inch tweeters. Now this is an eight inch woofer and two one inch tweeters. It is stereo. This also is stereo, but it's got two six and a half inch woofers and two two inch tweeters. And it makes a difference. You're gonna see the difference a little bit later in the video. You're gonna hear the difference between these two, but as far as features go, this really is, uh, it, it comes in with the cool factor. This is really cool because you can download an app that you use on your tablet or your smartphone, and you can control everything about it with this. Now, I was going to do a review about this, but there's tons of reviews of the Mackie Freeplay out there already. And all of those reviews go over basically the features, but not really how it sounds and those that do have a recording of how it sounds you can't really tell anything you can't tell anything unless you compare it to something so the Roland KC 110 has review after review after review in forums and magazines and so on and so forth where it is just 100% positive you can crank this thing up to a hundred percent and you've got no distortion or anything or breakup or anything like that. Now, you can choose between cool with Bluetooth connectivity and an app where you can control this from anywhere, all kinds of parameters, input game, EQ, and uh, basically everything. With the Roland, you have to come and use the physical knobs here, but you've only got two main inputs over here you've got some two combi jacks which can take either a quarter inch cable or an xlr mic cable so you also have an aux input which is you know, a, a mini plug which you can use for mp3 players that kind of thing and if you don't want to use that mini plug you can switch over to bluetooth and you can broadcast from your ipod or whatever to the Bluetooth capability here and play. So it works out pretty good for DJs and stuff like that. The Roland KC110 has a lot more inputs. Now the only XLR input it has for mics is on channel one. It also has quarter inch on channel one as well. Channel two and three separate quarter inch inputs, one for left, one for right. And four and five again separate inputs one for left one for right they're broken down they're broken down into channel two left and right channel three left and right and channel one either xlr mic or a quarter inch then you've got auxiliary in which can be either rca phono cables left and right or you can use an aux in again a mini plug that you can use from your iPod or smartphone or whatever, okay? You also have line outs on each of these, but the line outs here on the KC110 are broken down into two quarter inch cables that you can plug into this, one for left, one for right. Over here, it's a stereo quarter inch TRS cable for line out, okay? And as far as control here, you can do reverb and chorus, but you can also hook in a, sw a foot switch to turn that on and on with your foot. 
you don't have that capability over here. So that's basically it in a nutshell, but let me point out something. Wattage means nothing. It all boils down to speaker efficiency. So even though this is 30 watts plugged into the wall, and this is 150 watts, well, 300 peak, 150 in reality, the speaker efficiency is better in this than that. So they're going to sound almost the same as far as loudness until you get to the loudest point, then this might come just a tad little bit louder than this, but halfway through, this might sound a little better than that. Now these are both class D amplifiers. And with class D amplifiers, it means the more voltage you supply to them, and the more of amperage, all that kind of stuff, the louder it's going to sound. Well, with this, when it's plugged into the AC outlet and it converts it over to DC, you have got 30 watts of power. And with this one, you've got supposedly 150 watts of power, well, 300 peak, which yeah, it's a little bit uh, exaggerated, but 150 watts versus 30. Again, it boils down to speaker efficiency, and the efficiency is greater here than here. They're going to sound pretty much the same. When you get to full volume, this might sound a little bit louder. Now, when you take away the AC power and you're running on batteries, you don't have as much voltage. The DC power that once you plug this in the wall and you go through that little brick or that transformer that goes in here, it's applying 20 volts here as opposed to 12 volts over here. And when you're running on batteries, eight D cells, you drop that down to 12 volts. And if you go ahead and buy that lithium battery for $70 that you can plug into the here, that's 7.4 volts. So basically the loudest is going to be when you plug each one of these into the AC wall outlet. And again, a little bit less louder when you use batteries. All right, so let's see what this sounds like. Let's start out with the Roland and a piano over here. Now, both of these, I've set this to basically full input gain. I've set this to flat EQ. So basically everything is flat. There's no boost to bass or treble or anything like that. So what you're hearing is basically flat. We're gonna start out with the Roland. We got each of these set to half volume. Well, let's switch over to the Mackie. Back to the Roland. Okay, now let's do something else. Let's let's get a rhythm going over here, and we're going to start out with the Roland. All right, so you heard that. Let's switch over to the Mackie, and you're gonna notice a little drop in the high end. So it seems like the Roland offers more dynamics. You've got more definition in the high end, maybe a little more in the mid-range. This sounds more muffled compared to that. All right, so let's go ahead and do that again at full power for each one of these. And we'll do the same thing over here with the uh, Mackie. Let's bring each one of these back down to half power. All right, so there's a difference. This one is much clearer. It has much more response to it than 
this one. But when you get to the full volume, either one of these starts sounding pretty good. Now, straight out of the box with the Mackie Free Play, I really thought this is nothing more than a glorified boombox. It sounds like crap. But when you play around with the EQ, and even though we've got everything flat right now, when you play around with the EQ and the input gains and stuff like that, you can make each one of these sound really good. Personally, for me, as a professional musician, I would choose the Roland anytime over the Mackie. I've got more inputs. It seems to sound better to me in the full dynamic range. But if I were a DJ or I was a solo guitarist, a singer-songwriter playing guitar and singing into a microphone, I would probably choose that one. The Mackie seems to be great for enclosed rooms, whereas the Roland seems to be great for just about anything. And the other thing I wanted to point out, the Roland has a little thing on the bottom where you can tilt this up. The, and it also has an adapter in the bottom where you can put this on a speaker stand. This one, you have to spend an extra $27 to buy a little kind of uh, adapter where you can put this on a speaker stand. The Roland will run on eight pen light batteries or double A batteries. This one will run on eight D cell batteries. And again, if you want a lithium ion battery, they sell that to you for an extra $70. So it seems to me, as a professional musician, the Roland is a better deal for me. The Mackie, well, that's up to you. If you're a DJ or a singer-songwriter performing on an acoustic guitar and you're singing, this one's pretty good, too. All right, so I hope this has helped you out a little bit. Piano Man Chuck, peace out. Thanks for watching.